Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host Jason Turner, available for code reviews, contracting, and on-site training. In this episode, I have to talk about this tweet from Victor. Now, uh, I'm guessing most of you didn't see it, but Victor says, can we have modern C++? We have modern C++ at home. Well, modern C++ at home looks like this, according to Victor's tweet. Now, Victor has declared a const standard string called modern C++. Now, Victor here is doing two different things with the string. In the first case, he is passing it to the constructor for S1, and it is the string literal comma three. And in the second case, he is passing the standard string str comma three, and then printing out these two values. And the first one gets MOD, the first three characters of modern C++, and the second one gets ERN space C++, which is the everything except for the first three characters of STR. Now, when this was tweeted, I said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do a video about this. And this is all just going to be looking at cppreference.com because this all comes down to an absolutely terrible inconsistency in the constructors provided by standard string. Now, I'm not sure what the title of this episode would be and what I'm going to name it. An alternative episode is uh, the 13 constructors of string. I don't know strings inconsistencies, something like this. Now I'm using CVP reference. I always prefer cppreference.com. And we're going to go into standard string and we're going to look at the list of constructors. Now let's see, like I said, the third, no, no, I'm sorry. It's 11 constructors for standard string, not 13, my mistake. Now there's so many constructors here that it's actually kind of difficult to figure out what exactly we're looking at. But what we have, let's see, let's start at the top. We've got our default constructors, our default constructor that takes an allocator. Um, that's well known. We covered our standard allocators a lot previously in 2020 here. Uh, it's now 2021. And then we've got this one that takes a count and a ch. Now this one is particularly easy to get backward. This is a question I often like to pose to my students. I say, is this three a's or is this a threes? Because a does in fact have an integer representation as well. Now, fortunately, if we turn our compiler warnings up high enough and we have the right compiler enabled, so you notice that this did not give me a warning in either case, let's go ahead and try clang, clang trunk, and we'll see what happens. Clang trunk, no warnings, a comma three, and still no warnings. All right, never mind. We don't get any warnings from our compilers, which is terrible. Uh, I think I saw a warning from Clang Tidy or Visual Studio on this one recently. I forget which one it was. So that one is very easy to get backward as we just saw. And then we've got this one. We take uh, an other quote, another string. So that notice that this is basic string. All string implementations are um, implementations of the basic string template. So standard string is standard basic string of type car. So I've got my basic string and I'm passing this into the constructor and a position. Now notice that this count here is defaulted to in pause. In pause means the end of the string basically in standard string speak. Whenever you do a search for something, if you get in pause, it means that location wasn't found. It's the rest of the thing. It's, it wasn't there, whatever. It's the, the nonsensical value. So this one, uh, it says until C++ 17, that's because in C++ 20, this became const expert, is taking a position. And uh, in, in C++ 20, it's no longer a defaulted argument. 
we get, oh, actually this is all over the place. So this is the defaulted argument until C++20, since C++20. This makes it look like in C++20 the defaulted version was removed, which might be the case, which would be good because it would prevent this inconsistency here. But I pass in the string and the position. This is the start position and then how many characters to read, which is the rest of the string by default. In pause is the rest of the string. Now, scrolling down, we've got the const character pointer version. This is the one that takes the string literal, and then it has count. So it goes the opposite way. It doesn't start with a start position and then a count. It's a question of simply how many from that character pointer do we want to read. So we're getting two completely different constructors with different semantics being invoked here. So going back to Victor's example, in the first one, we're calling the character pointer, which says, please read the first three characters. And in the second one, we're calling the one that takes a character string, and we're saying, please skip the first three characters. Let's go ahead and try this and see if our compiler actually gives us an error on the second invocation in C20 mode. If that is an correct in CVP reference or if it's an oversight and whether or not our compilers actually implemented this. All right, we're getting this skip the first three characters behavior. We're not getting any warnings of any kind. I'm on Clang trunk. I'm gonna go ahead and do the libc++ version of the standard library instead and I'm still not getting any warnings or errors of any kind. So let's go ahead and go to the standard and see what we find. Now, if you recall from my episode at the beginning of the year on how to get your copy of the C++20 standard, I'm using the eel.is website here because I figured this would be a quick and easy way to dig into this. I'm in string.cons. Okay. So here we have it. It looks like in C20, they did in fact remove the defaulted N for the length of the string to read, but they gave us two overloads instead. So it's the exact same behavior. And I'm not really surprised because it would have broken existing code to have completely gotten rid of this uh, confusing overload, but there it is, it exists. So be aware, lots of confusing overloads in the C++ string constructor um, set of constructors. So thanks for watching this episode of C++ Weekly.